this presentation we're going to look at cash discounts on purchases and sales. A cash discount here is a deduction off the invoice price and it's recorded both in the buyers and sellers books. So we either have sales discounts or purchase discounts. And then the basic nomenclature would be like here 2 slash 10 net 30. So the 2 represents the discount percentage. Uh, 10 would be the number of days available for the uh, discount and then it says otherwise you've got to pay the rest in 30 days here. So what example would be if you owed a hundred dollars and you paid it within the first 10 days you'd only have to pay ninety eight dollars so you get a two percent discount. Okay. First we're going to look at uh, purchases from the buyer's perspective. And here we have two choices. We can either record our inventory as a purchase item here directly to the income statement, which is an expense item, or we have another choice here where we can record it at an inventory account as an asset on the balance sheet. So let's just say we're going to record it as purchases directly to the income statement. So here we make a purchase of inventory on account for $1,000. Then we go and we increase our purchases account here. And then when we come to pay off that $1,000 here, we reduce our accounts payable. And we go down here and we take a purchase discount. Say it is 2%. So we increase purchase discounts $20. And that would directly reduce our purchases inventory account here. So these are con the purchase discount is a contra account to purchases. So that reduces our expense from a thousand to nine hundred eighty. And then the balancing entry here would go to cash. So we would um, decrease our cash by nine hundred eighty dollars. So we originally had a bill of a thousand dollars. We took our purchase discount of uh, two percent and we ended up paying $980 in cash. Okay, if we recorded our purchases as an inventory item, as an asset on the balance sheet, okay, here we'd go in and we'd increase our accounts payable by $1,000 and then go and increase our inventory account by $1,000. So then when we pay off that thousand dollars here we would reduce our accounts payable and then we take our purchase discount here of two percent or twenty dollars so that would decrease or directly decrease our inventory account and then the balancing entry would be to cash here where we paid the nine hundred eighty dollars in cash so we owed the thousand we end up paying nine hundred eighty dollars by taking the purchase discount let's look at uh, sales discounts from the seller's perspective. Now sales is a revenue count on the income statement and let's just say we go and make a sale and on account here for a thousand dollars. So we increase accounts receivable which is an asset on the balance sheet and then go over and we would increase or credit our sales revenue account here for a thousand dollars. Also we need an entry here to reduce our inventory. Let's just say our inventory costs were $600 on that sale. So we reduce inventory by 600 and then we go and increase our cost of goods sold by $600. Now when the customer comes back to pay that account, let's say we, we would re reduce accounts receivable by $1,000 and then customer takes the sales discount we offered so we'd increase sales discount here by say 2% or 20 20 dollars in this case now note here that sales discount is a contra revenue account to sales so it directly reduces sales here by 20 dollars or net sales would be 980 dollars so then the balancing uh, account here would be to cash where we increase cash by 980 dollars now we were owed a thousand here. We received nine hundred eighty dollars in cash due to the sales discount we offered. So this is just an overview of sales and purchase discounts.